What up, YouTube? Story time. Happy New Year. Happy 2023. Um, this story is coming from my last photo shoot of 2022. Um, you know, we had great things going on at the end of the year, finally. Um, we, my family we bought a new house. And so the date of my last shoot, we were actually moving a lot of items, like the beds and a lot of the heavy things. And so the goal was to get everything um, done, get myself situated, and get to the shoot. Of course, shit don't go the way you plan. So, um, the shoot was at three, got to the house to drop off the last load at two. Your boy was smelling like a damn oxen, so I had to hear him take a shower. Luckily, the studio is only maybe like 15 minutes away, um, and I was trying to decide whether to drop off the U Haul or not. With the time constraints, I said, you know what, let's go. Because on my way there, the model called, she was already on the scene. The studio called, like, hey, I think your person's here. So I felt so unprofessional. Um, I was like, all right, bet. Got there, still got there before three o'clock, luckily. Um, started to unpack my gear. And so I wanted to do some um, behind the scenes um, footage for my YouTube channel. And also I want to integrate video for the shoot. Um, beautiful wife got me a Feel World uh, LUT7 monitor. And so I wanted to use that along with all the small rig gear that I got, case, top handle, side handle, um, everything, mat box. So got got a bunch of stuff for video. That's what I'm trying to transition to in the new year. Uh, but back to the story. I'm unpacking everything and my lights. Um, got stuff, uh, props. Can't find my camera. So I said, all right, it's probably in a U-Haul. I'm gonna have to run back out. But someone told me, call my son. I'm like, hey, you see my red bag? He ran down steps. I'm like, yeah, it's right here. I'm like, fuck my life. Your boy left his camera. How unprofessional. I feel terrible. I was like, yo, how can I do this? The last shoot of the year. Model, she traveled, spent her money to get there. I felt bad. Um, so I told her, I was like, oh my God, I left my bag. I'm so sorry. She's like, oh wow. Kept getting herself ready. She's like, bro, you going to do something. Like, I'm like, okay, let's make some shape. So, you know, I thought about it. I said, well, I do have the camera I use for behind the scenes, which is a DJI Pocket 2. As photographers, I know you're like, bro, that's not a real camera. Yes, it is, but hey, drastic times calls for drastic measures. So the first set, um, we did a bathtub scene, um, and that, it, it just wasn't coming out um, with the DJI Pocket 2. And so I started to feel dejected, really started to feel down on myself, because this is going to be a big year for me. And so um, I was like, oh, maybe I... I I messed up spending all this money on this gear. Maybe this isn't for me. All these thoughts are going through my head. And so I'm just saying, bro, you got an iPhone. See what that do. They they talk about how great it is. So I was like, all right, hey, I ain't got nothing to lose. So we went to the second set. Um, that was the Christmas drink. And so we did that. And I'm looking at some of the shots. I'm like, bro. I got, this can pass, you know, this can pass. So looking at someone could have been, you know, uh, used for ads and things of that nature, the model, she did great. She was in her zone and I was just catching her. And so um, we went from there to the little metallic scene and I've been showing her some of the images. She, she getting it. So she's like, you know, all right, I got some more for you. And so it was like, well, we only had an hour. We got to get up out of here. And so I started working on the images and lo and behold, they came out awesome. And so I'm gonna show them with, um, at the end of this, do a couple of slides so you can see what I was working with. And it just goes to show, um, as an artist, as a photographer, when you get in a jam, don't freak out, don't panic. Just go with what you got. You know, if you just got your cell phone, if you got like a, a beginner's level camera, as your like second or third camera, you know, even if it's a point and shoot, Bro, make it work. You got a point and shoot, then go street photography with it. Make it um, look kind of like Fuji filmish, you know, kind of old school, you know. Just use what you got. Don't give up. Never get too hard on yourself. And just take that as a learning experience. Just build from it and grow. Like I said, 2023, you know, I want to do big things in photography and videography. I know I got a ways to go, but 
you know, I, I've been learning, I've been putting in the work, and now it's time to start paying off as I ascend, you know. And so I hope you guys join me on this journey. I'm gonna have a lot of great content coming out this year. Um, gear review, um, behind the scenes, and just kind of testimonial of kind of like a novice um, working his way to being a professional. So I hope you enjoy what I got. I hope you enjoy these picks. You know, comment, let me know what you think. You know, I take criticism as well, but don't get too harsh because I rumble the way I punch in the mouth. It's like this though. Not really. But happy new year. Hope you guys made it through safe. We'll see you in 2023.